the shop. I'm Fred. So, tonight's little project is to uh, press this hub into this, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, plate or a turntable plate. I milled this out on the uh, mill, finished it off, well, finished it off on the lathe, put it in the mill, put the T-slots in there, so uh, we're ready to go. So, um, I managed to turn a hub here for this, and uh, I've got the uh, bar here somewhere. Yeah, we're going to press this also into here. I made it a couple thou, just a couple thou, uh, undersized to uh, accommodate the uh, press fit. So what we're going to do is we're going to press that in there, and then press that part in there. And then eventually I will... Um, put a little weld around there and uh, and then machine it off. All right, with further ado, let's get to the press and let's get this done. All right, hang in there. Hey guys, okay, we're at the press here. I've got this uh, somewhat lined up here. All right, let's get this pressed in here. Well, if you want it to go in straight, so the best we can. All right, hang in there. Okay, we've got that pressed in now, as you can see, and now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to press the shaft in. It's going to be a very short video today. I did uh, mess up a little bit here. I had uh, one of those uh, trihelical uh, cutters, and it kind of went stuff on me. So, all right. We're going to try to get this in there. I gave it a few thou. a little crooked. I don't like that. Oh, that didn't go so good. So we're going to have to pop that out. It, uh, it bent there. I only gave it like 3,000 clearance and it bent the living crap out of the shaft. So we're going to pop that back out. Hang in there. Okay guys, yeah that was, uh, that 3 thou was just a little bit too much for this shaft. You can see uh, it got caddy wonkus. So we're going to have to build a new shaft. I think I'll use some higher uh, strength steel, some 4140 uh, to do that. And uh, we'll uh, get that back in the, uh, in the lathe and clean her up. Alright, hang in there. Okay guys, we're back. I'm just kind of spinning this to see how much uh, it really is. It looks uh, pretty damn straight. I'm going to put a dial on the feet around there and uh, we'll come back. Alright, hang in there. Okay guys, so we've got the, uh, we pressed the uh, hub into the plate. I'm just checking the run out now, so uh, 
Let's set this up for zero. And rotator here. So we've got like a half a thou on this. Yep. Half a thou. So I think we're pretty good here on the uh, face. All right. So I've got to build a new shaft because the uh, shaft that went in here chafed a little bit and got all twisted up and candy wonkus. So at least this plate here is uh, flush in 100%. So we're going to go from there and uh, yeah, we're going to get this out, make a new shaft. Uh, I think I'll use a piece of 4140 and we'll go from there. All right, hang in there. Okay guys, so yeah, this shaft here was uh, three thou over. Uh, the metal was just too soft and uh, it chafed here. I've got to uh, maybe cut a little bit more out of here to make it flush again or through. And uh, we'll build, build ourselves a, a new shaft because this one got, uh, when I was pressing it in, got candy wonkus. This is only a little piece of uh, cold rolled. So I think we'll use a piece of 4140 for the, uh, the shaft that goes inside this, this uh, plate. And this plate will also have the uh, we'll also have the grounding strap on the outside here uh, for grounding. So it'll basically sit like that. And uh, yeah, uh, we're taking small steps. I was I thought that would press in no problem, a couple thou over, but uh, unfortunately this stuff is too soft. Uh, like I said, piece of uh, cold rolled uh, uh, three quarter inch. Uh, maybe that's, yeah, th around, just a little over three quarter inch. Anyway, so that's going to go and we're going to build a new shaft. All right, hang in there. Okay, guys, we're back. So we found out this uh, piece of uh, cold rolled just didn't cut it. So we're going to build, uh, make a new shaft, 4140. Yeah, it got, uh, it got pretty Cattywonkus when I was pressing it in there. So uh, I'm gonna build a new shaft, put it in there. I'm gonna have to machine the hub out a little bit. I've got lots of uh, material in my uh, chunk bins, but at least the uh, plate itself is true with the hub that I uh, built. Um, I, I did this off of camera because it was just time consuming and I uh, I bozoed on one slot. I used one of those uh, carbide high helix cutters and it grabbed the material and just sucked it in like there was no tomorrow. And by the time I uh, stopped the machine, one tip of the uh, carbide got uh, chattered up and uh, yeah, it's all over but the crying. So I used just a regular roughing bit to do the rest of them. Uh, for flute, uh, those high helical um, cutters, I've gone through two of them in the last six months. When they grab the material, it's like, it's not forgiving. So I've got one left from uh, Lakeshore Carbite, and I think I'm just going to hang on to it for doing some really, really uh, fine work. I'll use my, uh, my what do you call it, uh, roughing bits to do this kind of work anyways so uh, anyways this table is flat now 100% uh, less than half a thou and <laughs> we gotta make a new shaft anyways guys I know it's a short video let's say thanks to all my subscribers thanks to all my new subscribers you guys have a great night be safe hang in there bye for now